Okay, next up, I would like to draw the Lewis structures for I2 and N2. So let's start with I2. Um, that should have 7 by 2, so 14 electrons. We already know halogens like to make one bond, so let's start with just the one bond around each. And let's see if all of our valence electrons are satisfied. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Octets are all filled. Lastly, let's double check on our formal charges. We have um, for the I, it's going to be 7, minus 6, minus 2 over 2 for both of them, giving us 0. And we expected a net charge of 0. So this is going to be our final structure for this one. And 2, we are going to have um, 2 by 5. And so that is going to be 10 electrons to play with. If we start with just a single bond, and fill in both octets. We're gonna have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Clearly too many electrons. So let's sort that out by moving four of them into a double bond. Now that gives us two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So again, I have too many electrons. So I'm going to continue to do that. And now let's see, we have two, four, six, eight, 10. So the 10 electrons are now taken care of. Let's check our formal charge. For each of the nitrogens, we are going to have 5 minus 2 minus 6 over 2, and that is also going to give us 0. So the formal charge is also taken care of. We expected a net of 0, and so this is going to be our final structure. Then I want to describe the bonding as single, double, or triple covalent bond. This one has a single bond between it, so the answer is single on this one. And this one has three bonds between it, so the answer is going to be triple. So it's a triple covalent bond and a single covalent bond for the first one and triple for the second one.